so today we are going to talk about makeup brushes because when I first started out doing makeup I was er, I started out with just eyeshadow which is weird most people would wear mascara first like alone no I just wore eyeshadow alone it looked very odd but I used to use the sponge applicators and while they're okay I've heard after a while they harvest bacteria which makes sense because you have oil on your eyelids and then you're going back and forth and putting eyeshadow on other people too so that's just a hot mess but we're gonna forget about that and we're gonna talk about brushes right now and which ones are personally like I feel like the basic ones that you need you don't need a whole professional set just a few key ones to really do any look so I'm gonna start with um, the only face brush that I use and I don't really have a problem. I actually blend in foundation with my hands because I've read too that the warmth of your fingertips helps it blend in more evenly which definitely makes a lot of sense. But for blush bronzer I use this brush right here. I don't know it's just a big it's kind of stiff moderately stiff brush and yeah it's almost like a kabuki and if you don't know what a kabuki is it's one of the ones that's like this short and it's like even poofier and just really fat. So this I use, yeah, for blush bronzer and it just gets the main areas, it's pretty big and nothing more to say, even coverage. Another face facial brush though that I would recommend is a stipple brush and I don't have one of those with me either but uh, it's very, it's stiffer and if you look, if you were to look at the ends of it, you would see like the individual like strands. I'll try to post a picture in the description box if I remember. So that's, like I said, that's all I use for facial brushes except this I'm going to classify as a facial brush even though it's one of those mascara eyebrow spool things. Don't really know what to call it. Anyway, I, I never used to use this but then I realized how important eyebrows are for your whole face and makeup, especially if you have eye makeup, you don't want your eyebrows to be like nothing. Like I, I hate drawing on eyebrows so much. I'm, I mean, if you if you do it, please try to fix it because then when, then when you're like just hanging around later in the day, maybe someone will stop by. Like if you're like me and you live in a dorm room, someone's going to come by and if you have no eyebrows because you draw them on all the time, it's going to look a little odd. But yeah, anyway, this um, I this end for eyebrows, I usually like to apply a little bit of, can't find it, but um, clear Vaseline petroleum gel and then slick it back instead of using clear uh, brow gel because it saves a lot of money and it lasts a lot longer. And then of course the side I just use as a lash comb after I apply mascara to define it and I don't know, get the clumps out. It's a very um, useful tool. And it doesn't, some people might think the lash combs hurt, they don't hurt at all, you don't feel anything, it's just like, whoop. I don't know, it's a, I guess it's kind of a weird feeling until you get used to it, but not really, I don't know. It's just, it's almost just like using a mascara wand, no real difference. Now I'm going to move on to eye brushes, and I, I feel like these are the greatest number that I have, like I never use lip brushes, I just, that I use my fingers for too, as long as they're clean, like please sanitize your hands. Do not put dirty, oily fingers on your lips because that's just kind of gross. But anyway, eye brushes. This one is probably one of the most basic brushes you need. Now, I have a MAC just because I heard great things about this. Sometimes if you get cheaper ones, the bristles will come off and then, then you don't have much of a brush left after a while. But this one I customized, see, with the little... This is just nail polish. It's starting to look kind of raggedy. But anyway, this is a um, flat petal stiff brush. And this mainly is used for packing on eyeshadow over the lid. However, you can also use it on your inner corner to smudge things underneath. You can use it for contouring too, or if you really want a defined eye. So uh, this, you could do a whole eyeshadow look with this one brush alone like I've that's how good I feel it is and this one that I have is MAC 239 but like I said any brush like this will 
wrong way. Will do. And yeah. And because it's so stiff, that allows you to get a lot of color in there versus if you have one that's not as stiff, then when you tap it off, you're going to lose a lot of your product because it's not stuck in the brush. And these are easy to clean. You can just, you know, you can use cleanser or you can just take some shampoo that's mild and do it in your hands and put some water. And I'll, I should do a makeup cleaning brush video too because that is super helpful. Next major eye brush is um, one like this. Uh, this is a stiffer dome brush. I use it for blending. I also use it for um, the crease as well. And this is the MAC 217. This brush in itself is pretty um, unique. However, you don't necessarily need something like this, but it's a great one to have because this also allows you to contour and just get into areas that you really want to focus on and specify. Finally, or not finally, probably the most important brush that everybody needs is a blending brush because you've seen, definitely seen people probably where they have so much eye makeup on and it's not blended right and you just see all these dark colors and it looks absolutely horrible. But this this one is um, Sonia Kashuk from Target. However, MAC makes them, pretty much any place makes them. They're much looser so they allow you to, you know, feather. And depending on how um, intense of a blend you want or how defined, if you're closer to the brush you have more control so it'll probably be darker, but if you're further away you'll get more of a feathered, light, airy, more blended look. But this is great because this you could even, if you had no face brush, you could just apply some highlighter there. You can use it under your brow as a highlighter, inner corner. This you can even use all over your lid, it just doesn't pack the color as well. But this is, once again, a brush that does everything you need it to do with more. And two more brushes that I think are very important. I don't know where one of them just went. But a brush like this, um, I don't really know what they call this. A, a smudge brush. A short smudge brush. It's basically like a smaller version of the 239 stiff brush. But this one is really stiff. And this I basically use for smudging out stuff or applying eyeshadow as eyeliner, which I like to do a lot because it's simple and easy and it's still vibrant. So yeah, in this brush you can also, you know, get in the crease, do some really cool stuff. Highly recommend this. It, I don't know, I feel like this brush takes you from being a basic makeup ap ap applier, I don't know if that's the word, um, to a superstar. So. And it's, all, it's a smudge brush, it's not that bad. And this was a Kat Von D set that I got. Next. Ooh, I don't really find. Okay, well anyway, I'll just describe it since I can't find it. And I just had it, so this is bothering me. Um, it's an angled eyeliner brush. Now these generally come with any eyeliner kit that you will get. And... You know, it looks like a triangle on the top, and it's really stiff, and that's great for applying gel eyeliner, or once again, if you wanted to fill in your eyebrows, maybe, but don't use the same one that you use the gel liner for, because if you use, like, black eyeliner and then put it in your eyebrows, and you're as fair as I am, that would be, that would be more of a Halloween look, and we kind of want to stay away from that for now, unless it's Halloween and you're trying to go for, I don't know, like, the Day of the Dead or something like that. Yeah, I'm so upset I can't find that. But anyway, those are the basic brushes that I recommend. If you have any other brushes that you love and you think are essential, essential, definitely leave those below. Or if you have any questions, I tried to make this as basic as possible. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's hard once you've been using brushes for a while to. Um, I don't know, really explain the reasoning. So I just, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Once again, if you still have any questions, if it, you know, if it helped you a lot, then I'm really happy. So thanks for watching and look for another video soon.